start you guys so before we actually start cutting what we're gonna do is pin the hair up to get the hair out of the way so that way it's more visible for when I do the taper on the sides so now that I have everything pinned up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set in the bald line using my Babla Skeleton FX and I'm gonna do it in a C cup kind of way. I want my blend to have some shape to it so that's the reason why I'm setting it in a curved kind of way and not just straight. Next, using my Stylecraft Rebels with the lever fully open, I'm going up about a half inch, using my corners, making sure that I build that curvature shape that I want. Now putting on my one guard with the lever open, I'm going up, I'm doing the same exact thing, still maintaining that C-like shape. So I'm sure you guys wanna know my thoughts on the Rebels. Um, I've been using them for a while now, and I feel like they cut better than the Seniors and the Masters, I'm gonna be honest. Um, that's just my opinion, they cut a lot smoother. So I'm, I'm gonna be rocking with these for a while. So next, I'm gonna clip her over comb the top, basically getting those hairs at the bottom to flow into that bulk up at the top. So I'm gonna set my, my comb at a 45 degree angle and kind of go upward with uh, you know my clipper. Now with my two guard with the lever open, I'm basically just flicking out, making sure that the hairs really flow into that bulk up at the top. Just doing some detail work to make sure that everything flows. So coming back down, I like to take baby steps, throw back on my one guard, and basically, um, you know, just detail um, that area between the one and the two. Now just closing the lever on that one guard, again, baby steps. In a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Now keep in mind that this is not gonna take out the line. This is softening up the line. That way you could come behind it with the next step. Now that we have everything softened up by using the one guard with the lever closed, using the zero guard with the lever closed in a flick out motion, using only my corners, I'm gonna flick out starting below the line and flicking to the line. Now with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, use it only my corners, flick out that bottom line. Uh, remember to adjust your lever as you go up. Um, don't just stay with the lever being closed. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're gonna have to move that lever, um, you know, as you go higher in the blend.
So next is where you detail your work. Um, what I like to do is I like to look away from the blend for a second, come back to it, and just start doing corner work. What I realized that works for most people is utilizing your mirror. The mirror can show you different things about the blend that you couldn't see just head on. So make sure you utilize the mirror as well. And just, um, you know, corner work. Corner work uh, plays a lot of part in, you know, getting those bulk areas clear and uh, not so bulky. So right now, I'm gonna use my Babyliss FX3 shavers and I'm gonna clean up the bottom. This is gonna add another transition to your blend, also making it a lot cleaner at the bottom. Now as far as the back goes, I use the same exact steps. over comb the sides that way I'm getting the hair um, basically up off of his ear um, and it's gonna make the lineup a lot visible so next I'm gonna be working on the front line right now I'm gonna start by clipping the hair up top um, and then bringing down some of those baby hairs, uh, making sure everything is nice and lined up and neat um, to where it matches the sides. Now using my one guard with the lever closed, I'm just going to go down on the the front line basically knocking everything down to that length that way you'll come out with a better and more crispier line
Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360 When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a full 360 And they come out looking like Damn, son, you make it look easy You too, this is the cut And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does all my beats his YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here.